Welcome, everybody. If you don't know who I am and you're joining for the first time, my name is Mr. Nathan, and you are a part of uh, Storytime with Mr. Nathan. If you join me uh, and we're already friends, I'm so happy to see you today, and I'm so happy that we get to read The Gingerbread Friends by Jan Brett today. So, you know what to do. We're going to read the book, and today I have a special song at the end that we're going to sing along to. Uh, so, before we get started, get in your special space where you can be comfy and you can help Mr. Nathan when he needs some help as we read this book. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. Let's get started. The Gingerbread Friends. The sassy gingerbread baby lived in a scrumptious gingerbread house in the bedroom of a boy named Maddie. He was happy with the toys and treats that Maddie had made for him. Still, something was missing. Oh man, yeah, doesn't that look like a nice place to be able to live? I wonder what is missing. What do you think it is? Oh man, those are great guesses. We're going to keep reading so that we find out. One day, he watched Maddie go off with his friends to ski and to skate, and he knew what it was. I'm the gingerbread baby, happy as can be, until Maddie goes out. Then it's lonely here for me. I want a friend of my own, the gingerbread baby thought. Oh, so he got sad when he saw his friend Maddie leave and go off, and then he was by himself. Have you ever felt that way? You know, Mr. Nathan has felt that way before, too. And sometimes uh, we're going to be sad when we see our friends leave. But let's see what happens for our friend, the gingerbread baby, okay? I bet something's going to happen. Oh, there he is. He's looking out the window. He's like, oh, where's Maddie going? All right, let's see what happens. The next morning, Maddie stayed home, but he was too busy in the kitchen to play. So the gingerbread baby slipped out and headed for the village to look for a friend. Oh, my goodness. Let's talk about what we see in the picture here. What are some things that you see? Oh, yeah, it's a rooster. We've got a gingerbread baby. And then what's in the background? There's some kind of other animal that we see. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're right. It's a fox. I wonder what that's going to have to do. Maybe something happens later on. We'll find out. Let's keep reading. Oh, there's the the village he's headed off to. The gingerbread baby walked along the lane. He came to a bakery and saw a man and a woman just his size in the window. Maybe they would like to be my friends, he thought. All right. All right, we got Gingerbread Baby. He's going into the bakery. Oh, do you see his friends? Let's go take a closer look. Inside, the Gingerbread Baby popped up in front of them, and he sang, I'm the Gingerbread Baby, peppy as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But then the man and woman just stared straight ahead, like statues, eyes wide open. That's Mr. Nathan with his eyes wide open. What do your eyes wide open look like? 
Oh man. All right. Hey, can you help Mr. Nathan out real quick? Do you see the animal on the side of the page? Do you know what animal that is? Oh yeah. It's a cow. Do you know the sound that the cow makes? <laughs> oh, that's really good here. Mr. Nathan's going to try for you too. So you don't have to do it alone. Moo. <laughs> Was that good? <laughs> All right. Let's keep reading. Oh, there's his friends. No wonder they weren't talking to him. They're statues that are on a cake. Let's keep going. Ooh, what animal is that? Do you know? It's called a swan. Let's see what happens with the swan, okay? Are you ready? Next, the gingerbread baby spotted seven white swans swimming on a sugar frosting sea. He leaped towards them and called out in excitement, I'm the gingerbread baby, clever as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. Let's see, do we think they're going to be friends? Let's see what happened. But the elegant swans didn't even honk a hello. They stayed exactly as they were, stiff and still. So he's trying to make friends with all these things that can't be friends with him back. The gingerbread baby turned and gazed up at a cake as tall as a mountain with icy ledges and a man and a woman dancing on top. Petticoats and coattails flying. I'm the gingerbread baby, plucky as can be. What does he say? I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. Oh, my goodness. He's climbing. <gasps> Do you see Matt in the corner? What is he doing? Oh, you're right. He looks like he's putting something in the oven. I wonder what that's going to be. The gingerbread baby was about to give up when he saw a door just his size. I'll go in there and think about what to do next, he thought. He slid down the cake and ran inside. Oh, my goodness. Look, the cat is chasing our gingerbread baby. Let's see what happens. Oh, it says where he fell asleep. So he ran inside. You see him running? And he fell asleep. Let's see what happens next. Scritchy, scratchy, the gingerbread baby woke up and found himself face to face with a real live mama mouse nibbling on his marshmallow pom-pom. Oh, no, he thought. Home is the place for me. Oh, my goodness. Poor gingerbread baby. I bet that would hurt, huh? Oh, look, a whole family of mice. And, oh, what is that over in the corner? Oh, it looks like more gingerbread. Let's see what happens, okay? He's on his way home. Remember, gingerbread baby's on his way home. And he ran out of the bakery with the mouse, the cat, the baker, and his wife not far behind him. Oh, goodness. They're all chasing him. And look at what Matt's doing. Matt's up to something. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. What what do you think they they're experiencing right now? <laughs> they look pretty mad, huh? They're like, uh, we're gonna get you, gingerbread baby. Uh <laughs> All right, well, let's see what happens. Hopefully, Gingerbread Baby makes it home. Oh, my goodness. What all is chasing Gingerbread Baby? Do you see? Let's talk about what it is. It says, as Gingerbread Baby raced home on his rooster, the unfriendly creatures chasing him were joined by a red fox. All right, so what do we see? We see a couple animals in the picture. What is it that you see? Uh Uh-huh. We see our cow that we talked about earlier. Yep, there's a dog. There's a cat. Yep, he's riding his rooster. And what's up there in the tree? Do you know what that is? It's an owl. Do you know? They say... Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! Wouldn't that be scary if all those things were chasing you? Mr. Nathan would be scared. (laughs) Let's see if he makes it home. Who almost caught the gingerbread baby as he flew over the fence and ran into Maddie's house just in time. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the gingerbread people in the heart. I wonder where they're going. Let's see what happens. He made it inside. All right, there they are jumping over the fence. Tired and sad, the gingerbread baby started to cry. I'm the gingerbread baby, lonely as can be. No one wants to be my friend. As far as I can see. But then he heard some singing and a trail of cupcake caught his eye. He climbed the stairs and you'll never guess what he found. All right. Oh, man. Look at all that. All those cupcakes. Let's see. (gasps) Wow. Look at all the new friends he has. They were just waiting for him to come home. It says, we're the gingerbread friends. Playful as can be, we'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. Oh, and me. And me. Wow. So look at that. He went in search of all these friends and his friend Maddie He knew that he didn't want Gingerbread Baby to be alone, and he helped him get some new friends. You know, Mr. Nathan thinks friends are so important, and they they help us have fun. They help us learn. They help us grow. What's your favorite part of having the friends that you do? All right. Awesome. Well. Mr. Nathan loves that you were able to read The Gingerbread Friends with me. Now we are going to get ready to sing our song. So let Mr. Nathan get that pulled up for us and we will start singing. All right, give me one second. All right, then let's see. What do we want to do? We want to come here. And go there. And here we go. Mr. Nathan is going to get ready. We want to do that. And we want to come here. There we go. All right. Let's make it big for you. Are you ready? All right, we're singing the song, Friends, Friends, one, two, three. Are you ready? Here we go. I love having good friends. Me too. 
friends, friends, friends. One, two, one, two three. three. All my, All my friends, friends are, are with here me. with me. You're my friend. You're my, You're friend. my friend. You're my friend. You're my, You're my friend. Friends, friends. One, two, one, two three. three. All my, All my friends, friends are here. Are here Do you want to be my friend? Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. Do you want to be my friend? Sure do. Great. Friends, friends, one, two, three. All my friends are here with me. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. Friends, friends, one, two, one, two three. All my friends are here with me. All my friends are here with me. Great. All right, and that concludes our story time for this month of December. And hey, if you go follow Mr. Nathan over on YouTube, you'll be able to see that special story time that we did uh, last week for the holidays so make sure and go and check that out so you can get a uh, two time story time but with that remember it's always a great day to smile and i can't wait to see you during our next time together all right bye